Hey, I'm Justin Chamness. This is the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, where we're all about getting you. That's right, you. I'm talking to you. Hey, you right there. I'm talking about getting you <laughs> to that first deal, shut up money. That's that first deal paycheck. You know, the one that tells you and all your negative doubts and fears and all them haters that have been hating on your broke ass for so long. You could tell all the people, hey, look here, it works. Shut up. Today, I got a special treat for you because it's a live seller call. I do live seller calls with my one-on-one -on -one coaching students. And this one here, I was lucky enough to have recorded. This is not a lay down call. I've shown you some lay down calls where the low hanging fruit just fell off in my hand. Uh, but you know, this is not one of those. And I think it's good to show the, the tough ones along with the good ones. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you a tough seller call, but I still stay true to the pattern of the call that I teach in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I want you to see if you can pick out the three major areas, which is number one, I'm going to uh, set the agenda for the call. I'm going to tell him who I am. And then number two, uh, I'm going to, and what I want to do. And then number two, I'm going to go into qualification. I'm going to ask this guy a bunch of questions about this property and his situation. And then I'm going to go into number three, the stage three, which is to close this guy. I'm going to ask this guy closing questions. So now it didn't really, it didn't really go our way, but it, it was a great call. And we're going to learn a bunch. So now stay tuned. Let's jump right in. Shut up, money. Yeah. Justin on the phone here Hi. with you today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the owner. Hey, that's great. Um, I, I appreciate you taking our call. Like I said, I'm Justin, and, and he's Brigham. Um, I'm actually so I go on to explain that I'm a real estate investor in Kansas City looking to get my next investment property, and that I'm going to ask him a few questions, and he's going to ask me a few questions probably, and then um, if at any point in the conversation he, he feels disinterested in this, he has the right to fire me. He can say no. It's okay. He doesn't have to lie to me and tell me he needs to think about it or any of that stuff. Um, I, I, I'm looking to do something today on something if I can, and it's okay for him to say no. So that, that's a great way to set the agenda for the call. Justin on the phone here with Hi. you today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the owner. Hey, that's great. Um, I, I appreciate you taking our call. Like I said, I'm Justin, and, and he's Brigham. Um, I'm actually a real estate investor out here in Kansas City, and uh, I'm looking for a, a good investment property to pick up. And um, I, I saw this one here, and it kind of struck my attention. It, it looks to me like it's in a gentrifying area. Is that right? That that neighborhood down there I'm being sorry, gentrified? What, I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, you're, kind of, you're kind of muffled. What, what were you saying? Okay. Sorry, sir. Um, I was saying I'm a real estate investor. I'm actually in Kansas City, but I'm looking to buy an investment property. And uh, I noticed this one here in uh, at 440 Orange Avenue in Sugarland, and it got my attention because it looks like it's in a gentrifying neighborhood. Uh, some of the houses around that are not quite up to that value, and, and but this one seems to be pretty pretty nice. Is that right? Can you can you explain that to me? I only knew that because I had looked on Prop Street, guys. No, it's in a resort area. It's in a resort town. And it's in a mountain resort town, and the whole valley is eclectic. There's all different. You can get from 100-year-old cabins up to a $10 million house if you want it, depending on where you're at. I see. Where this I is see. at. So there's a mixture of, and you've got a mixture of 600 to, you know, I don't know what the 10, I think the $10 million house was like 10,000 square feet or something like that. Wow. On the lake. Who lives there, so Tom Cruise? <laughs> some, no, some movie star. Your old man. Yeah, anyways, so we'll incorporate on clay where this is, it's for the for the particular area within a mile radius there are the same there are actually smaller houses, but at a higher at a higher price too. So it's an ecliptic I area. See. I see. Excellent. Um that sounds pretty good. Uh, like I said, I'm a real estate investor and I'm looking just to get a, an investment property and um and so basically, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you a few questions. You can ask me a few questions if it works. If it does, if it doesn't, uh, you know, I'll still be your friend if you want. But um, you know, that's okay. You can you can tell me no anytime you want. Does that sound all right? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Um, it, 
I've, I've looked at it online. Of course, I'm not in Sugar Land. Like I said, I'm in Kansas City. But I moved from agenda. It, it does it looks like a really nice place? Like somebody fixed it up and uh, has done a lot of work to it. And uh, why why would you why would you be selling it? The house is 15 years old, so it's turnkey. It's being sold furnished. We're downsizing. I'm looking for motivation. Oh, I see. Downsizing, just just getting into something a little more suited for you. So so there's nothing really no. wrong. I see. There's nothing yeah. wrong with the house. There's nothing wrong with the house. <clears throat> like I said, it's turnkey. Uh, somebody can move, come bring the clothing and their dishes and and their food, and and oh. there's nothing really to do to it. So perfect. That sounds great. That does sound great. What's uh? How did you determine the the price? Since there's such a wide spread going on there, and what 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 do you think it's worth? And, and how, how did you come up with that? If you don't mind me asking. I'm a real estate broker. I see. California. Nice. So uh, it's based on the comparables that are in the area. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Uh, how long have you been a broker? Oh, well over almost 25 years. Oh, that's a long time. Career broker. I, I'm not licensed or anything. I'm just a normal, normal old Joe. Um, but anyway, it, it does look like a lovely place. Um, and you're downsizing. Have you ever already moved out, or are you or are you fixing to move out? No, we're as soon as we sell it, we're moving out. I see. Well, um, the purchase price here that you put on it is uh, four hundred eighty-six thousand. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, and uh, you have to have that cash, or uh, would you be interested in maybe anything else, like something creative? Because to be honest with you. Uh, Switching like closings. It looks beautiful, and I, he I like doesn't have much of a motivation. Like the, but I'm giving it a shot it. anyway. Uh, but but I might want to rent it for a couple of years before I buy it. Is that something that you would consider, or, or probably not? No, no. Mm -mm. it's not. There's no rental option on the property. Okay, all right. So that's a that's a solid no. Um, so just straight cash is all you're interested in, and uh, and 486 is about about where you're at with it. Is that right? Yeah, that's the asking price. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, um, hmm. I don't. How am I going to make money on this? I'm, I'm a real estate investor. <laughs> uh, you got any ideas for me? <laughs> I'm on it. Well, what you can do is a couple of things. Of course, if you want to pay cash, we can we can deal on that one. Um, but you could, uh, if you pay cash for it, you could go ahead and turn around and um, make it. The cash deal I could make you, you could turn around and put it back on the market um, and uh, offer seller financing, and you could offer a 20% down. You offer 5%, which is a what? way above market. Uh, season it for a year, turn around and sell the note. <clears throat> And you've already sold the property, so you get some capital gains on the on the sale of the property. And of course, you'd be carrying the note for a short term. But then the idea is you. Uh, uh, so, so I could sell or finance it and make make a bunch of money. Why why wouldn't you want to do that? Because I asked you if you would do right. that for me. <laughs> I, I, I got I, it. I, I, to carry the paper, and I don't want to carry the paper. I'm okay. not an investor. I'm, I got other things to do and move on. So, um, like I said, uh, I, I understand. I understand. I'm, ca um, I'm, ca I'm cashing out, and and I'm gone. So, uh, what's your anyways. what's your first name? What's your first name again, sir? Le Leon. Leon. Okay, I'm Justin. How about this? Um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you, you know, being pretty transparent with me and just having a, a, an adult to an adult discussion here. Uh, what I'd like to do is, um, I'd like to think about it. I'll be honest with you, and uh, maybe maybe I'll follow up with you here in, uh, in a little bit. Is that okay? That's me firing that guy. I, I, <laughs> I just wanted to get off the phone with him then because I knew he had zero motivation and he had zero. Uh, he was he, he just was not going to do it. Um, and and I even trapped him in, in his own words, and that what I was asking him to do was a good deal. <laughs> but 
but he still would not do it. Um, now, maybe perhaps there's better salesmen out there that would have closed this guy. I, I did not close him at that time on that day. But this was definitely a fun call. And I hope you learned that even a tough call like that, even somebody that's a tough cookie, if you're following the, the correct process through the phone call, if you have a plan and the plan's right, and then the, the calls seem to go a whole lot better anyway. I want you to know that it's okay if you feel like, oh man, these phone calls, they seem kind of scary. Yeah, they're kind of scary to everybody when they're first getting going. Uh, but it is really something that you can get better at <laughs> and nobody's gonna eat you over the phone okay they're not gonna kill you and eat you over the phone you don't have to be worried about anything like that uh, come to real estate wholesalers club get some free training and, and learn a little bit about the mechanics of how wholesaling works and build your confidence level and get your get your get your shit together a little bit on it and, and start soaking in you know some of this great information we're putting out because it, it really will help you as you go to do your business all right remember I love you and I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're watching thank you very much and wholesaling is definitely always going to be better than a job hey thanks for watching but don't forget to post and introduce yourself tag a friend like us leave a comment subscribe share this video just do something don't just sit there there's all that money out there you got to get going get in motion this is motion real estate